Hello, Matt here with Telescopes Canada. Today we're going to take a look at the Pegasus Nix 101 strain wave mount and carbon fiber tripod. Named after the ancient Greek goddess of the night, Pegasus have made their first entry into the mount market with the Nix 101 mount. This mount uses strain wave drives, also known as harmonic drives, on both the RA and deck axis. This design ensures a backlash free operation, providing high torque at high payloads. The mount weighs in at only 6.4 kilograms or 14 pounds and is capable of carrying 20 kilograms or 44 pounds without a counterweight and up to 30 kilograms or 66 pounds with a counterweight. This provides more than enough headroom for a wide range of equipment. You can put a Celestron 11 inch Edge HD on this mount without the need for a counterweight. The mount has all of the things you would expect for a mount in this class. A dual saddle that accepts both Vixen and Los Mondi style dovetails, USB connectivity, smooth and secure adjustments for both altitude and azimuth. On top of this, it also has a built in Polemaster adapter to easily attach a Polemaster camera, making polar alignment an absolute breeze. A secure power in and a pass through power out port provide up to 7 amps of power for your accessories. I use this pass-through power out port to power my Pegasus Powerbox Advanced, which then distributes power to all of my gear. It also features built-in Wi-Fi and smartphone control with the Pegasus Unity app. Pegasus have also developed Unity software for Windows that provides full control over the mount and all of its settings. The Unity platform is a breath of fresh air in this hobby. A single platform that provides all the drivers, updates, and control for all of Pegasus's devices. I'm a huge fan of Pegasus. Between my two rigs, I use their focus cubes, power boxes, the Falcon Rotator, a Medio Uranus sensor, a flat panel, and now the Nix. They are all seamlessly controlled and managed inside the Unity platform. Kudos to Pegasus for putting so much thought and effort into unifying the entire experience. The companion carbon fiber tripod is well thought out. They've opted for a wider stance, allowing the legs to spread out further for a more stable platform. The mount head can be easily secured directly to the tripod with the easy release adapter, or you can use an optional pier extension to help avoid tripod crashes. In most cases, I would consider the pier extension to be a necessary add-on. The tripod is very stable, and definitely capable of carrying the payloads it's designed for. I've had the pleasure of using the Nix and carbon fiber tripod over the last month and I have to say that I'm very impressed. It is very well designed and performs as expected. It can operate in EQ and Altaz modes for both astrophotography and visual work respectively. With a decent polar alignment it tracks extremely well and you can expect guiding numbers around 0.5 RMS in normal seeing conditions. The physical markings on both the RA and deck axis make it very easy to find and set the zero position. This is something I wish more manufacturers would do. Adjusting altitude and azimuth is very smooth and easy. If you require a little extra leverage, you can use the provided bar, although I haven't found much need for it yet. Once aligned, you lock down the tension levers and tighten the altitude screws with the provided Allen key. Although secure, it seems a bit redundant to me to have to lock down the altitude with both the levers and the screws, but I suppose it provides another layer of security. Another minor annoyance is that you need to completely remove the altitude and azimuth locking levers to fit the mount back in its case. It would be nice if you didn't have to do that every time. This amounts to nothing more than a minor inconvenience, so it's not a big deal overall. The Mobile Unity app, used to directly control the mount via Wi-Fi, does a good enough job. It is very responsive to your inputs and provides a lot of functionality for a mobile app. Even providing a built-in object database for selecting and slewing to different targets. The weak point here is connectivity range. You need to be right beside the mount for it to stay connected. If you wander too far away, it will disconnect, and most times you will need to go through the reconnection process to re-establish your connection. However, it is designed to be used at the mount, which it does very well. At a price of just under $4,000 Canadian, 
It is a bit of a jump from something like ZWO's AM5, but it really is in a class of its own. The NYX could easily be considered an observatory grade mount and yet still be extremely portable for when on the go. Pegasus are clearly very passionate about astronomy and put a lot of thought and care into designing their products. And this is quite evident with their first entry into the mount market. Overall, this mount is very impressive and I would have no hesitation recommending it. To find out more about the NYX or any of the other products we carry, you can visit us at telescopescanada.ca. Thanks for watching and keep looking up.